Good morning. My brother is coming in and he is flying into Freeport, which is Grand Bahama. So we are going to take the opportunity and sail, an overnight sail from here where we are today, which is Little Harbor, all the way down, all the way up, sorry, all the way up to Grand Bahama. All right, well, we're at the bottom of the Abaco and we're just coming around the corner. You can see these cliffs and these beaches. Look at this water. That's it, we're in position now, fully. so happy that we got to see that this is when you get to see nature like that this is what makes it all worthwhile 5 30 time to go to bed i'm exhausted nat's exhausted the dogs are exhausted we'll talk to you tomorrow night i'm natalie and this is james and this is our home zephyr we have been sailing around the world for the past four years and now we have got a couple of stowaways on board meet flint and kira two puppy Weimariners that are joining the adventure. Subscribe and welcome to our channel, Sailing Zephyr. Good morning. It is a beautiful day here and we have a bit of a change of plans because originally we were gonna stay in the Abacos, not really venture too far from the area of Marsh Harbor, Man of War, Hope Town, all that kind of uh, surrounding islands around Marsh but my brother is coming in and he is flying into Freeport which is Grand Bahama so we are going to take the opportunity and sail do an overnight sail from here where we are today which is Little Harbour all the way down all the way up sorry all the way up to Grand Bahama to an area called Lukaya I'm pretty sure it is and we will wait for him there. He doesn't arrive till Sunday, but we've got some pretty heavy winds coming in on Friday. So we have to get there for before Friday blow, which we will, we should be there early morning. So we're leaving now and we sh it should be exactly 24 hours till we get to Freeport, Grand Bahama. It's gonna be interesting about the wind going down the bottom of the Abaco, right here. And then the wind actually drops off and then it turns around because that storm starts sucking it up, which is perfect for us because then we'll have it on the beam all the way into Freeport. <laughs> Let's hope that's what happens because, yeah, it's going to be a bumpy exit here at Little Harbor, um, even in calm conditions. Yeah. It can be pretty wavy, but it should only be about an hour of it. And then we turn with it and we should be uh, downwind sailing for nice. at least the first seven hours. Excellent. I'm not ready for an overnight. Uh... No, now it's like, I don't want to do an overnighter. I know. Because um, we get too used to all these little day trips, don't we? I know. So, yeah. yeah, your body's not ready for it. You don't sleep when you're meant to sleep and it's just a mess up. So anyway, we won't sleep. We'll, look, we'll get there and we'll probably sleep when, once we arrive. As we pick up anchor and prepare to embark on this overnight passage, we're reminded of the unique challenges and the excitement that lies ahead. Transitioning back to overnight sales after enjoying time off and becoming accustomed to day sales can be a significant adjustment. Little did we know we would have an encounter like no other later on that day. All right, so for anybody that's ever left Little Harbor here in the Abacos, it's a kind of a narrow little reef pass to get out and you got the full brunt of the Atlantic coming straight in. So um, good to have uh, some charts that are pretty accurate. And for us, so as you can see, we come down here and then we gotta go through this little pass right here. And this will have all waves breaking over it for sure. So yeah, and then once we clear that, 
and we turn right and we're gonna head for the very bottom tip of the Abacos. We should be downwind sailing, we should have the swell tucked right in behind us. It actually should be a pretty comfortable passage, but we'll see. Been a while since I saw you, only well wishes for you. Try my best to ignore you, you know baby, I... you one of a kind. Heard you got a man, hope he spoils you, cause you deserve someone loyal. Someone yeah, look at these rollers, hey? Yeah. Definitely some swell. Yeah. And no good. We've got the tide though with us. We're doing six and a half knots, so that is excellent. We are out, we made our turn. You can hear the sail is flapping. The wind is dropped off more than it should have. We should still have like 14, 15 knots of uh, true. And we don't have any of that. And the swell angle is a little off. Uh, it should be more behind us. It's actually coming from like our 150, 140 at the moment. So it's kind of kicking us around a bit. It's not horribly uncomfortable, but the boat is rolling. The boat is definitely rolling. Um, yeah, not the best, but it should improve as we carry on here, so. Everybody's feeling sick. Except James. Except James. And uh, yeah, this is the current situation on board. We've had some pretty big rollers like that one. Never shows up on camera, but yeah, where you going? Lulu's is about to fall off, but she's got to be on top of me. <laughs> I'm like not gonna fall asleep because I'm like trying to hold her in. So I've got to like make. You're putting effort. I've got to put all this effort into holding her. Plenty's good at the bottom there. That's it, we're in position now. Pulling. Good night. Oh, uh, Lily's is already closing her eyes. Are you comfortable in the slightest? Yeah. I actually am. Are you? Yeah. Are you warm? Yeah, the Lily's keeping me warm now. And Flint's keeping my legs warm. Wake, wake me up when we get there. I was gonna say, hopefully we don't need a sail change. Yeah, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> bottom of the Abaco and we're just coming around the corner see these cliffs and these beaches look at this water at the bottom of the Abacos I just say Nanat I think this is the most beautiful water I've seen in the Bahamas in as long as I can remember the blue is just it's electric it's so nice the seas as you can see have chilled right out it got a little messy when we first approached the point. Um, I guess there's the main swell driving in from the Atlantic and it was kind of refracting off the rocks and then maybe there's some contra uh, or other swells sort of colliding. But it was like a washing machine in the boat for a few minutes. But now we're all settled. We've had the rod in the water for hours, no bites. The wind's meant to keep fading a little bit for a few hours and then it picks up just after midnight, I think, and it should start coming on the beam. It would be nice to sail. I was expecting to sail this first bit, but like I said earlier, the wind angle wasn't quite right. 
and it was a little lower than it was expected. We were about five knots less than we should have had. So with the sea state, the sails just couldn't hold the air. So we've been motor sailing, which sucks. Looking like we're gonna get about five in the morning. Um, maybe just as the light's coming up. Uh, maybe we'll slow down just a little bit as we get closer. But um, we've been in here before, so I'm comfortable going in in the dark if we do get in early. All right, couple of updates. Genoa's hanging like a shower curtain because the wind has totally dropped off like we'd expected. Here is having a wee on the bow, as she does. It is totally calm, as you can see. The end of the Abaco. And off that way is Grand Bahama. Still got the main out. Inside, Kira. Come on. Good girl. We ain't much better now. Yeah. We got two trawling rods in the water, one on each side. So we're hoping that when we go across this, well, we're in the shallows right now, close to the island. Once we get out of that deeper water, that's when hopefully we'll hit something right in that crossover period. Yeah. We got cedar plugs on though, on both. Yeah, we got a red and white one on one. Yeah, and then just a wooden one. So hopefully, we catch something. And what's our secret weapon with the wooden one? We soak it in tuna or sardine oil. Ooh. So. Do you remember the last time we did that? Yeah, we caught something straight away. Where did we do it, do you remember? No. Here's a little trivia for the last five no. years. You say, when was the last time? There was one other time that we soaked, and it was a cedar plug in tuna oil right before passage. We had, it was a 350 mile passage about three and a half years ago. And I'm not kidding, it was in the water 10 minutes and we landed a massive fish. It was huge tuna. When was that? In the med. What passage? I think to Sardinia maybe. Yes, Yeah. correct. Yeah. That's right. Ibiza to Sardinia. That was a horrible trip though. Yeah. Because that was the only good fortune we had on that whole trip was catching that and then after that it all went to pot because our autopilot died and we had to hand steer every hour. Uh -huh. We had to keep swapping. We were so tired yep. for 32 hours or something. Yeah. Anyway. When we caught that fish that's when it all the weather started changing remember? Yeah. Go back and watch that episode. I don't know how much we recorded of it. Though. I don't think we recorded much. No? But no, because we were brand new and we were probably like, oh my gosh, we've got to figure this out. And yeah. it would have been nighttime. I don't know. It's scary. Yeah, I don't think we would have done too much filming, but that's what happened on that. Yeah. That was one of the trips that I went with selling the boat. It's so it was so awful. It was. It really was. It's not all beautiful rainbow and sunshines is it? No. no. Definitely not. It's boiling on this side. Yeah. It's actually really cold on this side so it's like a tale of two halves. Anyways, we're selling it. Genoa's doing nothing but we're moving along at just over five knots. Something's happening in the wind. I gotta check the sails. We have got whales. Oh my god. There's two pods. There's two pods. Yeah. Initially, as we first catch sight of the blows, we aren't sure what kind of whales they are. But as we draw closer, subtle cues emerge, hinting at the majestic creatures before us. The angle of the blow is a giveaway. Could it really be? Yes, sperm whales. Their presence fills us with awe, a testament to the profound beauty and diversity of life beneath the waves. Thank you. 
It feels incredible to be alongside these giants of the deep. They are the largest toothed predators on Earth, reaching lengths of up to 60 feet and weighing as much as 50 tons. They can also dive to depths of over 3,000 feet, hunting for their favorite prey, squid. Unbelievably cool. That is the closest we've ever been. Actually, I take that back. The closest we ever were were in the Azores when we nearly hit one. We nearly hit a sperm whale that was sleeping on the top. Um, and apparently, it's a common thing that happens quite a lot in the Azores because they have so many pods. But that was so close with them moving, and then as soon as they could hear the boat coming um, they dove really deep and I think we caught one with the tail going down that was unbelievable that was so so cool wow I'm so happy that we got to see that this is when you get to see nature like that this is what makes it all worthwhile a hundred percent more than anything else when you get to see that kind of and have that kind of interaction it's just unbelievable. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Binti, are those your first whales? Yeah. We keep our eyes peeled now. Maybe there's some more pods hanging out here. We'll see. As the sun begins to set, we reel in our fishing lines and pack them away for the night. We've got full moonlight. Woo! Yeah, we've got full moonlight at the moment, so it makes our night passage really good because you can just see everything. All right, well, we are going along very well. Um, we've been on the road now for about 18 hours. It's three in the morning. We've got about another hour and a half until we arrive. Um, as you can hear, only wind and waves. The engine is off. We've had it off now for about an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. Um, the wind has finally started to fill in and we've got great sailing conditions. I think we've been averaging about five and a half to six knots. When we get a little bit of a gust, the boat starts doing about seven and a half knots, which is great. Um, the sea state's pretty flat, so I think that's why we're doing so well. Um, it's just starting to get bumpy now because I guess the wind is starting to fill in for this storm that's going to be coming later on this afternoon. But yeah, we will probably be arriving uh, just as it starts to get light, but a little, little dark light right on that sort of cusp. But we've been in here before, we know the entrance very well. so And we have a full moon, so it's so bright out which is awesome. 
Um, Nat's just having, well, she was having a cup of tea. I finished it. I don't know if you can see her. She's kind of here in the dark, but. I finished it already. She's already finished it. And the puppies are up. And yeah, <laughs> going okay. It's been a pretty straightforward passage. The worst part was the first, like, two hours when we had to leave uh, Little Harbor. And it was all that big, confused North Atlantic swell. Anyways, we will check in with you guys when we arrive. Well, we made it. We are in the Anchorage. It took us a little bit to get it right. We've been in this Anchorage before, um, and fortunately, there wasn't anybody else in here, but it's kind of shaped like a teardrop. So you got to kind of get into it in the right spot so that you can swing. And I was just kind of thinking about where the wind's going to be coming from in, um, in about six hours. So just trying to make sure that, you know, when we swing, we're not going to hit anything. And I think we're okay. It looks pretty good. It's good to be back in this anchorage. We like it. We kind of found it by chance last time. Anyways, it's... What time is it now? Uh, it is 5.30. 5.30. Time to go to bed. I'm exhausted. Nat's exhausted. The dogs are exhausted. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Night. If you'd like to be a part of the journey and become a patron, go to the link you see here on the screen. Another way you can support us is by hitting that subscribe button.